my co-author Alexandra Morton uh, discovered it uh, in 2001 when she lives in the Broughton Archipelago. Her neighbor, who's a sport fisherman, was getting into his boat and he looked down and there was a little juvenile salmon and it was covered with sea lice. Scooped it up and brought it to Alex and said, Alex, have you ever seen anything like this? Uh, do you think it has anything to do with the fish farms? Well, sea lice have been a serious concern on the coast of British Columbia since I found them seven years ago. What this study tells us is that sea lice from fish farms are driving these wild salmon populations into extinction because fish farms break natural biological laws. In the natural system, the adult salmon and their parasites are far offshore when the young wild salmon first enter the sea. But having the fish farms clustered near our wild salmon rivers forces a deadly collision between the young salmon and the adult salmon's parasite. When pink salmon first go to sea, they don't have any scales. They're not equipped to survive this. And our finding is that they don't. What's happening now is we have open net pen fish farms, salmon farms in the Broughton Archipelago. Then in the spring, when the juvenile salmon enter the ocean, they encounter the farmed salmon right away and all the parasites that the farmed salmon have. And they're just poorly equipped to, to handle sea lice. Wild salmon are a central bloodstream of the coastal Pacific Ocean. They move nutrients from the open ocean through the coastal environment up into the forest. They feed whales, they feed the forests, they feed human communities. They're essential. The main flaw here with the fish farms is that they're in the net pens and it's the free exchange of parasites between the outside environment and the inside of the farm that's causing the problem. And another option is called closed containment technology. What this is, is it's essentially just a barrier. You replace the net pen with a physical barrier and the waste material, so the, the fecal matter, the uneaten food, and the parasites, all of that gets removed from the affluent before it's released into the environment. When the fish farmers say closed containment is too expensive for them, my only question is too expensive for whom? Releasing sea lice into the natural environment is allowing them to externalize a cost. They're paying for the water to sweep away their parasites. But who is paying this cost? It's the public because the wild salmon belong to the public. They're a public resource, and they're essential to life in our oceans. This paper is the best a scientist can offer. It's a warning light of where we are headed. These fish will go extinct unless we deal with the issue of sea lice from fish farms infecting wild fish.